Hello, my name is Westbam, and after some silence, I am back with some new VVVV tutorials. A lot of stuff has changed, but the idea is still the same. We're going to use VVVV to create beautiful, practical, or mind blowing stuff. Okay, we are now at version number 26, and there are some minor changes I want to show you. And then we're going to do a quick introduction, and then I'm going to do some more babbling about slices and spreads and whatnot. Now with the new crack.exe, installing VVVV is very easy. You download the package, extract it somewhere, and just run crack.exe. Whatever. And here it starts with a very annoying tune, and if everything is green, you're ready to go. Okay, now we can open VVV. We can either open the VVV.exe, or we can start with a demo.bat. Okay, this is the demo patch that comes with beta 26. This demo patch is showing off some awesome cube mapping. This is a proof of concept that shows us that we can create a 3D scene and then use reflections inside it. It's, it's pretty, pretty awesome and it's pretty new. That's why it's the opening patch for beta 26. Show the patch. In beta 26, all the output pins of the I.O. boxes are now to the left side. In the old previous versions, some pins were to the right, some pins were to the left. Now all the visible pins are on the left side. In this new beta we can finally make I.O. boxes with integers like these, these ones. Also, one cool feature, especially if you have a large patch, is the search option. Just hit Ctrl F and you will see what I mean. Here I can find any node I used. So that's pretty pretty awesome if you lost track on a big patch. Or another LFO, or another LFO. Let's do a quick speed course in VVV. For starters, VVV is controlled with the mouse with the mouse wheel. And we use the keyboard. So when you press and hold the right mouse, you can scroll through a patch. You just hold it and drag it. In VVV, we have these building blocks. We call them nodes. Nodes have input pins and output pins. In essence, all we are doing is making data flows between the nodes. The data goes from here, through here, through here, through here, all from top to bottom. The nodes will do something with the data, and that can be something mathematical, like a divide, or something you can show, like this group to the renderer. The nodes are connected by these lines, or connections. They always go from an output pin to an input pin. You connect nodes by left clicking. I left click on the output pin and I left click on an input pin. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just show you how it works. You see, I just sent the value of 10 to the grid resolution. And as you can see, you cannot connect any node to any other node. The input pin should be the same data type as the output pin. Data types can be simple values, strings, colors, but also layers, transforms, or complete renderers. We can scale nodes, we can move nodes, just left click and drag. And if we hit the delete key, we can even delete nodes. All these nodes together will form a program. But us, VVV freaks, don't call it a program. We call this a patch. So what you see here, all these nodes, that is a patch. Unlike many other programs, VVV doesn't come with a menu. You see, there are no buttons here I can click. So in order to access the menu, you press the middle mouse button. And this is the VVV menu. We got all kinds of stuff in here. We can close the patch, we can save the patch, we can open the patch. And very important here is Hair Inspector. This little screen will become your friend. And once you get to know it, you can't live without it. And if you want to get rid of the menu, just click somewhere outside the menu. Create a node, just double left click and select the node you want. Or you can double left click and just type the node name if you know it, like quad. And then select it. And if you don't know the exact name but you know the type of node, you can double left click, then right click, and then you got those groups here. And you can open those groups and then pick the nodes inside those groups. So you knew you wanted a boolean node, you didn't know which one, and now you know you want a not boolean node. If you double right click, you get quick access to some commonly used nodes, like the bang, toggle, integer, or whatever. And if you move your mouse away, 
you will create the IO box value advanced. I understand you have no idea yet what nodes to pick or what they do. But well, that's why I'm doing these tutorials for you. Okay, the best way to learn VVV is to open the girl power folder and just check out any of these patches. You see, this patch creates this result. It's very easy. And just play around with values and see what happens. And if you want more information about a node, just select it and press F1. And then it will open a help file for you. And also, if you have any questions, please come to the VVV forum and just ask. We have a lot of experienced users that don't mind helping you out. Because we all had to learn. And for more of the pure basics, I would suggest you check out my previous tutorials. Okay, thanks for watching. Next we're going to pick up where we left with spreads, spread counts and slices.